Right, let's start um, setting up this car, right? So right off the back, let's just drop a null here. Um, so we'll probably want this animation later. So let's call this out, uh, body with anim. Okay, and uh, let's drop a time shift here. And I want this on the first frame. Like that, let's do uh, connectivity. I just want to, uh, I like to have this class attribute on each. Uh, yeah, we'll do it on primitives. Okay, so um, let's see if we can visualize that. There we go. So each you know, connected piece now has an attribute. Um, we also have the shop material path. Uh, let's see if we can visualize. Oops, I don't want to visualize it like that. Let's turn that off and let's change it to we want color random from attribute there we go so we got the different materials there so you can see the windows are all one color the body generally is one color this bottom piece okay so we got the we can use both of them uh, to make selections because obviously I, I want some parts to behave like metal, some parts to behave like glass, and other parts we're not going to simulate because they're too small and, or, or they're not just in the area. So we're going to be impacting here. So we're going to be ignoring a lot of it. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing now is kind of going through and dividing and splitting up. So first let's drop a, we're going to be using a lot of these splits. Okay. And I'm going to split the windows. Windows come here. So for this, I can use the press nine. By the way, if you don't see this, press nine or what is it? Yeah, this button here to to make selections based on attributes or groups. And we want the shop material path. Grab the window, press enter. And there we go. So there, I've got the windows coming out this side and everything else out this side. Okay. So I'm going to drop another split. Let's just drop a null here and call this out windows. So out windows. The windows we're going to do later uh, in another sim. Here I'm going to do. I'm going to start splitting up the parts that I want to actually bend and behave like metal. Bendy. Okay, and I'm going to use the uh, shop material path. I think for this. Okay, uh, yeah, so definitely this part. This part's underneath for sure. Um, this kind of dashboard. These door pieces as well, which will select the chairs as well, but that's fine. So, you know, quite a lot of the car is selected there, but that's fine. You know, we're going to be adding and removing as we go along. Okay, I'm just going to drop a merge because I think we need some more pieces. Okay, so that's gotten rid of, you know, a couple of little bits, a few bits and bobs. Drop another split here. Okay, so you can see that we've got all these little bits and pieces that we don't need to worry about or I don't want to be fracturing and things. Um, there'll be lots, some small pieces here as well. As you're going along doing this, you know, obviously it's a good idea to just drop an exploded view and you know it can help you take a look at all the components that you've got so even here you can see we've got lots of tiny bits and pieces that we'll um, try and remove later also and um, so with this here um, so as I said before the impact is going to be on the left side uh, driver on the driver door side here so it's going to be impacting there so you know we need to focus our attention on what's going on here so if I come here, you can see now we've got some pieces here that are not going to be able to bend and that could be problematic as they're quite long and, um, you know, if they're rigid and everything else around them is bending, it, you know, it could cause some, some, some weirdness. So I'm going to come here to this uh, split and then select these uh, just based on their 
just 3D connectivity. We could use that class attribute as well, probably. Um, but I'm just going to grab, I think. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab these pieces. And I think this piece from the, or these two pieces from the uh, wing mirror. And press enter on that. And there we go. We've got these as well. And I'm just going to merge these back into the bendy kind of group, right? Great. Uh, let's get rid of this exploded view. Spacebar and F to see what we've got so far. So, yeah, well, from that exploded view, you saw we've still got lots of tiny pieces here that we don't need. So I'm going to drop a measure and use that to see we've got so we want to measure the area that's fine I don't want to per element per element will be per um, primitive okay and I don't want to measure those we want to measure the pieces we've already got the class attribute that we made here okay so it's going to use that measure each actual piece um, and then we don't need to do anything else here and then we drop yet another split let me name this one that one is also called bendy and another split to split the small pieces and so for this so uh, this will generate you can see the attributes on the primitives I believe and it's called area and we've just got a float value and you can see that we're going from uh, six to uh, very tiny numbers right um, 8.1 e minus 6 minus 06 so it's going to be very very small numbers so um, we can use that attribute call this at area okay is smaller so it's like an if statement if the area value is smaller than 0.005 is what I want I'm just going to invert that to make it tidier so the so if I invert it you know that Whatever, whatever becomes true on here will come out this way. And I'll drop a, oops, put a merge here. So there we've got all the tiny pieces, okay, which I don't want to fracture and, you know, waste because the fraction can, can be um, expensive and take a lot of time. And these bits as well, okay, which I don't want. So all of this is what I don't want to be um, bendy and let me just check that for a minute if I drop a no yeah that's correct okay and cool and then one more thing I want to do here is I'm just gonna drop an assemble so again focusing on this part okay we've got kind of a general selection of what we want to be um, bendy um, but you know the front parts depending on how violent the crash is going to be I was going to be quite localized around the door so anything around here at the back and on this side of the car is not going to bend or flex right so I want to select kind of these pieces here and to make that selection I want to use a group um, and with a group you know I need to be able to the group will just select points primitives or vertices right um, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is just pack these up um, quickly so that I've got each piece as a point, basically, right? So now if I do that, you can see maybe if I go into wireframe and turn on points view, you can see each piece there is just a point now, and then I can just make a selection of those points, which will select pieces for me, not you know cut through pieces, which I don't want. So make a group. Okay, and we're going to group the points now. I'm just going to call this bendy. And we're going to use a bounding box. Okay, and I'll just type in the value. So, as I said, you know, it's just kind of this part here. So, size is going to be 1, 2, and 2.5. The center, I'm going to move it over zero, uh, point, 0.4. Minus 0.4, sorry, 0 0.5 in Y and 0 in Z. 
Okay, so that just kind of grabs that section. You can see we're losing the, the back, the front, and the right-hand side. Okay, and then we can just unpack that. Don't want it to stay packed. Okay, and we'll have to um, transfer that group from the packed geometry onto the unpacked geometry, the full geometry. Let's turn that back to normal. Uh, delete the name attributes, because this will generate a name attribute, but you know that we don't want to do that yet. We'll do that at the end, at the end before we simulate. Um, so I want to, it should be here, the name, there we go. Okay, and then another split. And this time you know, we can just use that group bendy. Okay, so now finally, and then yeah, merge this in here as well. Okay, so all of this stuff we are not going to simulate, we're just going to point deform it basically to follow along uh, the the simulation and then this stuff we're actually going to fracture down and you know make it bend like metal good